Hello, uh, in this video I would like to introduce a very useful tool for scientific writing uh, that is the so-called Psi Wheel and it used to be called F1000 but it doesn't really matter, it's now called Psi Wheel so here's a couple of uh, functions of this useful um, tool so when you are reading a particular uh, journal article or you're doing Google Scholar search uh, if you have the browser extension uh, here, then you will be able to add that directly into your library. Uh, but if you use something like EndNote or Mendeley, you probably need to import the PDF or uh, download the reference file into your um, library. Uh, but this one you can, uh, SciWheel allows you to do it directly while reading the paper. And also when you're reading paper on the web, also in PDF, you can actually highlight and add nodes to PDF and web pages. And that I think is very, very useful for me at least. And, uh, and of course you can store your uh, PDFs in the, um, in the library as well. Let's say you're doing some um, Google Scholar search and then you found a bunch of papers about COVID-19 and uh, let's say you found the first few papers or you really like them you want to include in your library you can simply click on the, the side wheel extension over here and then select the ones that you want to include in your library and here obviously it, it tells you which project you want to save your article to in the library and uh, so so that that's one way to do it you can just click on add and then we go to your library so you're reading this paper and uh, and then and then you after reading it you really like it and then you can click on this browser extension uh, you can see that browser extension already detects this paper and then all you need to do is to add add to the uh, the paper you can uh, add references into your library by click on, clicking on this import references button you can drag PDFs to the library and you will automatically recognize the information, the metadata that's contained in the PDFs. Or you can transfer from one of these uh, uh, databases you've used before and if you have already a library. Uh, or you can download the reference files uh, from these uh, different journals, different databases, or you can use a different items. So there are, there are millions of ways of uh, adding uh, references to the library. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, it's very powerful. And it also can uh, do annotations on the paper when it's in the, in, in, in the browser. Let's say the concept of working memory, let's say I want to highlight working memory, I can uh, highlight the text and there will be a little icon, uh, the blue play button icon and then I can actually set different colors. I want it to be yellow and then I want to say, uh, let's say definition, this is my annotation, definition to this particular thing. So if I refresh it, let's say, there you go. It, it's still there. That, that's your uh, annotation. And then when you click on the, um, the browser extension, you also see there's notes. So you've, you've you've uh, added notes to this particular paper you can click on it and then see where the notes are and then when you click on it it will directly take you to where the note and your annotation is okay so that's another useful function that let's see we've got this paper and i've i've saved the pdf to this paper uh, i can click on the open pdf uh, button and it will take me to the PDF of this uh, particular article and similar to what happens in the web you can actually directly annotate your PDF files once once it is in the library uh, for example I can say uh, I could say oh this is what I did actually <laughs> previously uh, basically you can draw stuff over it the information involved is necessarily distributed and uh, so basically what you can do is you have a little tool over here and you can draw lines. Uh, I don't know why you would draw a line like that, but you can you can do free text. Let's say you can circle something. Can I can I undo it? I I'm not sure whether you can undo it, but uh, 
Oh yes, you can. You can. You can just delete that. You can select the, your annotation and delete that, and it will get saved. Okay. So that's another very useful useful feature. Uh, and of course, you can highlight. I'm pretty sure you can highlight the the, the text, uh, but I'm not sure. I, it maybe it doesn't work on this particular PDF. So this is an empty Word document, and how do we cite uh, papers in, in a Word document? And it's very easy. Let's say we want to make a claim, let's say um, uh, auditory verbal hallucinations are positive symptoms of schizophrenia. Okay, let's say we want to say something, and then you want to follow it up with uh, references, with citations, and you go to the tab, the cite wheel, and then click on insert citation and there will be a little window that shows all the papers in your library and you can just say <coughs> say AVH schizophrenia for instance and you type in the keyword and it will give you a, a list of uh, uh, references and you can just select the ones you want you can do one or two it doesn't really matter and you say add um, at, a, at the moment, it gives you number one and two, and that's because the style by default is a Vancouver uh, citation style. And then for psychologists, of course, we use American APA style, sixth edition. And then once you select that, you can see that these citations are automatically reformatted to be in the APA style. Okay. And you can, of course, you can change this. Uh, you can say uh, uh, edit citation. Let's say you wanna you wanna delete one of them. That's that's fine, and you would delete them. Or you can add a different one. Let's say I'm, I'm gonna add this to here, and it will, it will be automatic updated. And uh, at the end of your document, let's say you just keep writing your uh, proposal or, or grant uh, or paper, and you can click on this create bibliography, and it will basically add. A bibliography at the end of your document and this uh, bibliography is automatic updated so let's say I write another sentence and then I want to add new references let's say that and you can see that this uh, bibliography is automatically updated so if I I'm just gonna bring it a little bit closer to the first page just so you can see it let's say if I add another uh, uh, citation and you can see the bibliography is updated immediately. Okay, um, most of the time, all the records in your library they are correctly uh, correctly uh, 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 entered. Um, so all the names, uh, titles of the paper, they're all correct most of the time. But you do have to check them, you know, before you submit your final final version, uh, just to make sure. Occasionally, you will have uh, issues with the with the with the uh, abbreviation or some kind of uh, comma full stop missing or that kind of thing yeah just just have a final uh, a proof read uh, over all of the inline citations and your bibliography just make sure that everything's correct yeah so that's basically how you add uh, citations in a word document Now, uh, what separates SciWheel from other reference managers is its compatibility with Google Doc, uh, which is my favorite. Because nowadays I always write uh, uh, stuff in Google Doc instead of Word, partly because Google Doc is a web application and it doesn't really uh, uh, require a lot of resources on your computer. You can use uh, like a net, uh, a net netbook. Uh, to, to do your writing perfectly fine and then it's all in the cloud um, and also uh, an important uh, feature of Google Doc is that in terms of collaboration if you're writing paper with multiple people and it's a lot easier uh, than sending different versions of a Word document through email and it, you're gonna lose track very 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 uh, quickly and Google Doc also allows it simultaneous editing of the same document so if you're working towards a deadline uh, let's say you're applying for a grant, and um, and then and then you wanna you wanna work together simultaneously online over Zoom. Uh, Google Doc is the way to go. And the brilliant thing about SciWheel is that it has a Sci, it has a is that plugin it has a plugin for Google Doc, which I'm really really happy happy about. I don't think any of, any of the other reference manager does that. 
Um, so here's, uh, I'm just going to demonstrate. So similarly, uh, you write something on end and you want to in insert a citation. You go to SciWheel and say, I want to insert citation. It will take a little while because the web, web applications, uh, it doesn't have like a, it's not a local program. But similarly, you can just uh, cite um, papers. You're typing your, key you're typing your keywords here. Let's say citation. I don't know whether there's any paper. Oh, you don't have paper. Oh, getting started with the Mendeley. Very interesting. So Mendeley <laughs> actually has a publication about um, how to use them. Anyway, so let's cite that paper too. Right. Okay. Well, you got the citations inserted, and equally at the end of your document. So when you want to include your bibliography, you can format citations and bibliography. Okay. You click on that. And it takes you to another uh, page where you ask you, okay, which format do you want? And of course, uh, as psychologists, we always go for the APA style. You click on that, it tells you actually under this style how the inline citation is formulated and how the bibliography is, is formulated. And if you're happy with it, and you can say, okay, I want to insert it at the end of the document or current cursor position. So you can, you can update citations and biography. There you go. It's very similar to what happens in Word. It's a little bit slower, but hey, I mean, it, it's a web application. That's pretty much uh, what I want to show you. Uh, but whatever you use, you don't have to use SciWheel. I can use Mendeley. Uh, that's probably the only other thing I would potentially recommend. But Mendeley doesn't do Google Docs, so uh, that's not really for me. But if you're working with Word, Document, and um, Mendeley is perfectly fine. It's very useful as well. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the end of my video uh, on uh, reference manager for scientific writing.